Hey, I want to take a little time today to do another rant video here because, you know, we're in troubling times. A lot of bad things are happening. Uh, I want to talk about something right now. I want to talk about the rioting, the looting, the arson, etc. that's going on right now in this country. And what I want to tell people about it is stop focusing on it. There are a certain number of people that are always going to be criminals. And there are a certain number of people who are always going to take advantage of a situation. And we're seeing that now with the protests against the George Floyd killing. Uh, we see people, we see Antifa, we see far right groups. We even see law enforcement and FBI people embedded in the crowds causing problems that we've seen evidence of so far. Uh, Antifa are always going to be scum. The uh, white supremacists are always going to be scum. And mostly the FBI and law enforcement have been proving themselves to be scum. But stop letting them distract us with the violence, the arson, the property damage. Those things are awful, but we deal with those things on a case-by-case -case basis. Just like we don't ban guns, we just deal with a case -by -case, on a case-by-case -case basis with people who misuse them. Same thing with this. Uh, so many people are posting memes about when the looting starts, starts the shooting starts, and if you start looting, we start shooting. You know, that's all cute and fun and everything, but you're allowing yourself to be distracted from the real issue. Uh, and the real issue in this country right now is that we have an out-of-control police force in this country that are answerable to no one, not even the courts. They are only answerable to the politicians and the people who pull the politicians' strings, mainly the billionaires and the elite. So they don't work for us anymore. And that has to change. And it's so evident. Uh, I understand when people see a car burning, they're like, oh, that's bad. It is bad. Uh, sometimes it's justified. Now, don't pretend like we're people that think, oh, violence is never justified. They have no right to burn that police car. Uh, I think we all talk about a boogaloo and stuff like that all the time. So there does come a time when violence is justified. I'm not going to pretend like violence is never the answer. Violence has solved a lot of issues in the past. That's why we're a country right now. So uh, let's not get too wrapped up in the violence is never the answer thing because sometimes it is. Uh, you remember, violence, to paraphrase Martin Luther King, is the voice of the unheard and the ignored. So we have to keep that in mind. While we can still condemn the violence, we can say it's not necessary, it's not just, it's not helping the cause, and the people committing the violence are mostly criminals, and we will hold them accountable. But don't get distracted, like I said, from the real problems right now. We have a police force that are feeling free and marching uh, armies down streets, firing on people on their own porches with pellets, etc. Because they're out on their porch filming them march through the streets like jackbooted thugs. And if you watch the video, they notice people filming on their porch, they line up in formation and start firing on them. Like there's some sort of private army taking out, you know, the resistance. That's disgusting. And that's only the second most disgusting thing I've seen this week. The first most disgusting thing I saw is a police department that decided that they were justified in raising their own bastardized American flag, the thin blue line flag, over a taxpayer-owned building. Like they are a nation unto themselves answerable to no one. Like they are, we are the police. You know, and it's make that, it, reinforcing that it's us versus them thing. Uh, that's disgusting. And I think every one of those people should be tried for that. But... We're letting ourselves get distracted by some, some fires and some property damage when our freedoms are being eroded by this private standing army that answers only to the elites, like I said. So stop being manipulated. It's the media and it's the politicians that are manipulating you. Trying to say, oh, it's you, you against those people. Those protesters are violent people, the minorities, blah, blah, blah. Well, for one, the protesters, 95, 98% of them are, are peaceful. They're not there to cause problems. Also, from what I've seen, very diverse. Black, white, Asian, everything is out there. Old, young, people like you and me with guns on their hips, uh, millennials who would probably never touch a gun in their life, all of them out there together. Pay attention to that and pay attention to what's bringing those people together. It's an out of control police department. It's an out of control law enforcement in this country. Don't get distracted. The media is going to try to distract you. The politicians are trying to distract you. Because if they can divide us again, then they don't have to worry about the issue. If we stay united on the issue, they have to answer to it. So stop 
letting them manipulate you. Stop letting them use your own anger, your own prejudice, and their, and their rhetoric to control what happens and control the outcome of this. A lot of people think, oh, we've never seen anything like this before. I've seen it many times in my 50-something years. And the government always does the same thing. They divide and conquer. Stop letting them do it. Like I said, it's okay to say, yeah, of course I don't support the looters. Of course I don't support the arsonists. But that's not the point. That's not what we're talking about today. That's not the topic of conversation. That's the distraction. What we really want to talk about are the real issues. So let's put a rest to the you start looty, we start shooty, and all that crap that the president spouted off. Who, has, who I like less and less every day, who let's point out, by the way, while he's talking to other people, how we have to be tough and stand up and fight these protesters, uh, he hid in his fucking bunker when they got too close to his house. So f fuck that. Uh, we need to stay united. We need to realize these, these police, these out of four, uh, control police departments that are not answerable to anyone are the greatest threats to our freedoms. Now, these threats, the, the issues with them, of course, show first in the most vulnerable communities, the minorities, the poor, etc. They get abused the most first because they are the most vulnerable. But eventually, it comes to us, the gun owners, and then the average citizen. When we step out of line, what do they do? They march an army down the street, start shooting at us on our porches. So, And that's not rhetoric. That just happened. So like I said, long story short, or actually really, really long story tied up at the end, I should say, stop being distracted. Acknowledge that we are all anti-wanton violence. You know, we don't want it to happen. But that's not the message. The real message is much bigger and more important, and we're going to keep forcing that message.